Hello everyone, I am popping on live. I'm sorry I'm not giving you guys notice, but I wanted to come on. I'm just saging myself. Sometimes I just love to do this. <laughs> um, so if you guys are here, let me know that you are here. If you're catching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. Um, I am gonna repost this on YouTube because my YouTube family, I wanna let you guys know what's going on as well. But today in this video, I'm gonna share with you three things that um, you have to let go of in order to attract more money into your life. I've taught a lot of manifesting courses. I've taught a lot of energy courses, you know, my from pain to power, releasing yourself and healing yourself after toxic relationships. And especially in my life, I had to let go of so many things in order to attract more money into my life. And I don't usually talk about money because spirituality like looks down upon wanting more money and abundance and all of that. Um, there's so many things that come up and we're going to talk about that today. So again, if you're here, let me know you're here. Give me some comments. Let me know that Facebook's working today. Maria, hello, I see you. You're signed up for tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. So um, first I'm like in my sweats, it's been kind of like a rainy, dreary day out and I'm just like all comfortable. So I didn't feel like getting all dressed up for you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind, but let's go ahead and dive into the three things that you need to let go in order to attract more money. And when I say attract more money, I'm talking about whenever you need money and you're getting in that little panic mode of like, oh my gosh, like this bill came up and I wasn't expecting it. It's like the universe just delivers it to you. And since I've shifted my mind and my, my blocks, and we'll talk about what those are, since I've done this work, it's like every time that something comes up, like literally it just happened twice last month, uh, two $3,000 bills came up that I had no idea were coming and they were paid like that without any help from myself. And I was just like, not from my savings, not from my checking, nothing. It was just paid from other things that came in. So when you can get into that kind of vibration, you can attract. And that's why they talk about becoming a magnet. And that's really what happens is when you get into that type of vibration, a vibration of abundance and not lack, you're going to attract that money in when you need it or even when you don't need it, when you're just in that vibration, maybe you have your own business, maybe you're going for a promotion, maybe you're going for a new job, like you're going to attract that to you when you can let go of these three things. So the number one thing and that you've got to let go of in order to attract more money into your life is your money story. We all have a money story. And if you don't realize that you have a money story, start to realize it, okay? Because that money story that you have, if you look back on your life and, your, and how money plays a role in it, that money story is going to be holding you back because there's gonna be the second thing, beliefs that are created from your money story. So first of all, we gotta get clear with the money story and we've gotta rewrite the money story because it is one way in your head, but we need to rewrite it. The second thing is gonna be the beliefs that were created from your money story. So I always talk about limiting beliefs because our subconscious mind makes 80 to 85% of our choices every single day. And we're not even aware of the beliefs that we have in our subconscious mind. So if you're, if you're not identifying what those beliefs are around your money, if you're not working on reprogramming those limiting beliefs around your money, this is why you have a hard time getting out of where you are or attracting more money into your life. Okay, so it's the beliefs. And then the third thing, of course, is going to be your energy. Because if you don't feel like you are capable of making more money, bringing more money in, attracting more money or becoming the money magnet, it's not going to happen, right? Because your energy is the vibration and the vibration is what attracts it. So those are the three things that you have to let go of. So you got to let go of your money story. You've got to let go of your beliefs around money. And you've got to let go of your energy that is surrounding the money issue, okay? This is about going back to your childhood. Again, I always with the childhood. But going back to your childhood because money played a big role. And I'm going to be talking about that a lot tomorrow. And if you guys are really serious about shifting your financial situation. Now, I, you know, with my From Pain to Power mentorship that I have out there, um, it's closed right now, so there's no enrollment. But I see so many women reach out to me that says, I just can't afford it. Like, I need this. I just can't afford it. And I do give some scholarships every month. But um, 
it, it's sad to me to see that so many people are financially burdened. And I feel as though it doesn't need to be that way. And the only thing standing in your way from getting out of this financial burden is yourself, your mind and your energy. So when you can fix that, you're gonna fix your life and how your finances play a part in your life because it's like a catch-22, right? It's like your when your finances are bad, it brings down your energy, but when your energy is bad, your finances are bad. So it's like, we've gotta work on one part of that so that you can start and that part is you. So tomorrow, if you are really serious about changing that, I have a manifest money activation workshop and i call it a workshop because you're going to be doing work in this it's not just the training that i'm doing for you we're going to be bringing you through you know rewriting your money story we're going to be bringing you through identifying the beliefs that you have because every single person has different beliefs so we're going to be identifying the beliefs that you have that are keeping you away from attracting the money that you want in your life and we're also going to be um so we're going to be diving deep in all the inner work, but we're also, I'm also going to be sharing with you the manifestation um, practices that I did in order to manifest as much money that I have in the last three years, which I thought I was going to be broke by now, probably living in a one bedroom apartment and nothing like that, right? So when you change yourself, when you heal yourself, you're going to heal your life, you're going to heal your finances, you're going to heal your relationships. All of it comes together. So if you would like to join us tomorrow night, it's on Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. PST. Um, there's, you could just comment me in the comments and then we'll give you the link to join us tonight, tomorrow. So it's tomorrow. So today's Wednesday, tomorrow, May 6th is the activation. The replays are available. So even if you can't show up live, you're going to get a lot. It's only $57, guys. So it is going to be well, 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 well worth the investment of $57, okay? You guys have requested this course. That's why I created for you. Um, in one of the videos that we did, you said money, 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 because you wanted to learn how to bring in more money so that you can start to invest in yourself and start to heal yourself. This is the first step. All right. So I hope to see you there. Just comment me in the comments. Make sure you give me some love um, here. And if you're watching it on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you there. So much love. Have a great night. Bye, guys.